It's the NFL on EA Sports, and the wait is over for this rivalry game. It's the Baltimore Ravens and the Pittsburgh Steelers, and it comes your way next on Madden NFL 25. Well, to the locals, it's still and will always be Heinz Field. But for the rest of us, we're along the North Shore of the Allegheny and Ohio Rivers at Akersher Stadium in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Joined by a former NFL quarterback up in the booth, Mr. Brock Heward. I'm Kate Scott. And Brock, uh, you can brag if you'd like to because I know you had quite the big arm in your days with the Huskies and the Seahawks in Seattle. Well, we've got a couple of quarterbacks here who also know how to push that football down the field. Yeah, you got a couple QBs who are going to keep these defenses honest today because the moment they get greedy in coverage or get too aggressive in the pocket, either of these quarterbacks can drop a dime, drop a deep throw right mm -hmm. over for big yardage, Maybe six points, too. Ball is teed up. Chris Boswell to do the honors. And we're underway from Pittsburgh. Here's Tylen Wallace on the return. He stopped on the return at the 27. So the Ravens offense taking over for the first time here. And then brought out by the reigning MVP, the second of his career, the best runner in the game, it's Lamar Jackson. Well, what does Lamar Jackson have in store for us this time around? Now a two-time NFL MVP. We know, we know he is electricity personified on the football field. Must see TV. He also knows, and these Ravens do too, but they got to take that final step. Got to get to a Super Bowl and ultimately win it with a two-time MVP. So their offense out now to get this game started. It's first and ten. Henry gets it here to start the drive. And they had that one contained right at the line. That stop made by T.J. Watt. No gain there that time, and it's second and ten. You know, Kate, over the years, I've heard running backs say, there's just times you've got to run in the darkness. And when linebackers fill that hole like that right in the middle of the field, he ran right into the darkness and the pain of that linebacker. This is Henry on second. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. This is one of those situations, Kate, where I watch the body language of the running back because it'd be very easy for him to raise his hands up, look to the sideline and his own line and go, what am I supposed to do there? There was nothing, no time at all to try and escape and react. Instead, it goes backwards. Third and long from here. Bails out of the pocket quick. Something out of it before sliding to a stop. I love that play. I, I mean, that's quarterback 101. Nothing downfield. Get what you can with your legs, but so much more importantly, protect yourself. Availability, one of the most important abilities for any quarterback. The Ravens gonna pump this away, and here's Jordan Stout to handle that boot. He sends this away, and oh, this is gonna be a field flipper. And he's getting nothing on that return. They wrap him up almost at the exact spot that he fielded that punt. So here are the Steelers now, taking over for the first time. Leading them out to man in his 13th NFL season and rising quickly up the career leaderboards, Russell Wilson. Okay, Russell Wilson's one of the NFL's most experienced quarterbacks. He's also one of the winningest quarterbacks, even with a couple bumps in the road in Denver. Remember, over that decade in Seattle with Pete Carroll and the Legion of Boom, it wasn't a quarterback that won more games in the history of the league over the first 10 years. Nine times to the Pro Bowl as well. Put a supporting cast around him, give him a run game and a defense, and Russell Wilson still knows very well how to play this game. No secure by George Pickett. And he's down after getting this up to the 41. Give him 11 yards, Brock, and a fresh set of downs. I may love watching a great thrower, but I love watching a well-done route too, Kate. Make that guy think you're trying to stack him only to drop your hips and cut right inside. Some good work to help reset those chains. On the carry, this is Najee Harris. And he's stopped. Now we'll wait to hear what this flag is all about. A game they were pretty happy with goes away via the penalty. And now we're going to wait to see how they respond.
They'll run here following the penalty. And he's going to work his way almost to midfield. That's stopped at the 48. That's eight yards on that run, and now it's second down. That's a run that you'll take the result in the NFL every time. A nice play, a solid game, but it's also a run that you know and you may come back to because if you were that close to breaking off an explosive one, you really break the backs of a defense. This is Harris on second down. And he's always ended worse, but he gets a yard out of this. Top of that play, Trenton Simpson. Call it no gain, maybe one at best on that play. That leaves him with third and two. Okay, that's a run that's whole hum on the stat sheet, but if you see a bigger play on the ground later on, it will largely be because of a play just like that one, softening up the front and opening the door for a bigger gap in the future. Harris with a first down and more. And he's all the way down to the 32-yard line. It's a gain of 19 on the play. And it'll bring up a Pittsburgh first down. That right there, that will make the coaches happy. He didn't just get the first down, but got a healthy chunk of bonus yards afterwards. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. First down, and they go right back to him. And they've got him down near the red zone at the 22. Okay, this is why coaches across all levels of football harp on the importance of good, fundamental tackling, not just to hear themselves talk. Uh-uh, it's to make sure that when one of their guys has a chance to bring down a running back, they're able to do it and keep those plays from going any further. Second down here, another get to Harris. And he stopped just before he reaches the red zone at the 21. 20-yard gain on the play, and that's a Steelers first down. That's certainly a spot where you could be more aggressive, Kate, if you wanted to take your shots. But some coaches, even the bolder ones, will take the safe play first when they get it from time to time. No third down required now. Ross off the play fake. And he can't hang on to it in the end zone. Not an interception. Only an incompletion. So they get it back. Second down coming up. Well, that's not the uniform you want to see almost bringing it in. They are so fortunate to have another shot down here after the near pick. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. On play action now, Wilson. It's, oh, he lost the football. And this is picked up by the Reagans. And they stop him before he gets much on the return. So just like that, Brock, a very nice drive ends in a whimper from that offense and a real roar from the defense who get off the field by recovering that fumble. Yeah, that defense was just getting walked backwards, and one of them finally said, enough is enough. And I'll tell you, the way they were moving the football offensively, I think you felt it, I felt it. Yeah. A touchdown was coming, but uh-uh-uh, that defense responded. So just like all touchdowns, all turnovers also reviewed, and they want to take another look at this one. Yeah, pretty bang-bang play out there. It's tough to see exactly what happened on our first look in real time. But you know what I like here, and I do appreciate, and these officials are so good at let the play just play itself out yeah. before calling it dead. Now all the replays and the camera angles will give us such a better idea of really what happened. So the nice defensive play, all for not. He was down first, no fumble. So a crisis averted a moment ago, but their reward, a really tough third down here. Russ looking to throw. Can't find anyone open, and he's forced to throw it away. So many coaches love third downs, and they practice them so much, Kate. Why? Because they're the money down in the NFL. Whether it's a close game or already out of hand, coaches know got to execute and convert on these third downs. Facing fourth down, the Steelers opting for the field goal. Chris Boswell out to do the honors. From 37 yards in the right half. I never saw a play script that ended with a field goal. It was always a touchdown that you wanted. 
That's three points, and it's enough to give him the lead. returning to the field for their second possession. And they haven't gotten their legs under them on offense just yet, Bronx. Three plays and a punt on their opening drive. New set of downs for them from the 46. First down, here's Lamar. Has him on the quick hitter. And he's brought down after pushing to that 35-yard line. Now, hang on. Looks like somebody came out after that play a little shaken up. Not sure we saw exactly what happened, but he'll get some assistance now. Set up at the 35 now. From the gun, a run for Henry. And he's taken down on a short run that gets inside the 35. Two on the pickup there, and it's going to be second and eight. You know, not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game. The type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. From the 33 on second down. That's incomplete left side. Down to have to wait a little longer for his first catch of the game. And that's going to leave him with a tough third and long. Hey, Kate, I know it's unrealistic to expect a 100% completion rate from anywhere on the field. But in this close, you really shouldn't be missing too many throws. Those need to be borderline automatic. Jackson now on third. Finding flowers. And it's good yardage, but they tackle him short of the sticks. You can earn your money in the NFL in all sorts of different ways, but defensively, in a league where you're just not hitting as much in training camp, you're not tackling as much as they got to in the old days, when you can make a play in the open field, keep it short like that, I promise you some money will follow. Running for it, here's Henry. And he stopped just before he reaches the red zone at the 21. They went for it and got the four yards they needed, and that keeps this drive alive. Come on now. Was there any doubt who they were going to go to right there? That was always going to be a run play. No problem converting on four. Going to the ground again on first. And they sent it straight ahead, but the front stops him after a gain of three. You know, they got some positive yards. That's a good thing. But too many plays like that, it just is too hard to pile together, get first downs, Gets the better defenses in this league. Second down now, seven to go. Lamar now from the gun. Looking for an open man. It isn't holding up. They're able to drop it. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. You get into the red zone and every detail matters. It matters on the whole hundred yards. But, Kate, once you get inside this red zone, it is so critical. And let's tip our cap to the defense on the details, creating that sack. This offense looking to convert as they come up on third down. From the gun, Jackson. Avoid some trouble there. 
consecutive sacks have them staring at a tough fourth down. That sure ended up being a worst case scenario. Pass rush just kept coming and coming and bearing down. And he was looking for an escape that wasn't there. It's one of those plays in hindsight, Kate, where you really got to understand, I got to cut bait, cut my losses, and avoid such a negative play. Staring at fourth down, the Ravens will go with Justin Tucker to try for three. This is a 52-yard attempt from the left hash. And this kick is good. He needed to get all of it there, and he did. And we're all tied up now in the first half. A lot of them may make it look automatic, but you get this deep, and those field goals are far from a certainty. It took all this concentration, every bit of his strength, to send that puppy through. Darrell Patterson now to return. He's brought down at what looks like the 24-yard line. The Steeler offense out and ready to go for their second drive. And the last drive did end in points. Not as many as they wanted, though. They had to settle for that field goal despite advancing the football pretty well. They're out and set. First and ten. Now we're running for the first time with Jalen Warren. He's corralled after a modest four-yard gain. Stopped by one of the league's best tacklers, Roquan Smith. You know, Kate, these are some of the little hidden plays in a game. Right? Doesn't look like a whole lot on the stat sheet, but A, it gets a good yardage. B, it sets up your play action. And C, most importantly, keeps that defense guessing. Now toss it to Harris. He's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. These running backs love getting into the open field, and the best of them, they're not even looking at the man right in front of them. They're looking at that next level to get a chunk run like that. First and 10 from the 41. Russ now from the gun. Into the hands of Pat Fryermuth. It looks like we can call it about four yards in the end. So you see Cade able to make that stop. He's just one of those guys, Cade. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you got a bully like him that can create space, you just find a way to get him the ball. Harris gets it on the counter. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. That's the type of call that offensively, man, it just builds so much confidence. I don't even think they were looking to get the first down. Just get to a manageable third down, but instead to move the chains. And that is one disheartening look on that defense. First and ten. Ball set up at the 48. Shotgun handoff to Warren. And he'll be met near the line to limit the game to a yard. Give that tackle to Broderick Washington. Just a gain of one, and that brings up second and nine. I think one thing you learn, Kate, when you transition from college to the NFL, not every run is going to be a big play. Some of them, well, they're just destined to end in a minimal gain, and some of them will set up that critical play action for later. Now an inside handoff to Harris. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. They push it forward for a yard, and that brings up third and eight. Hey, we know running the ball in the NFL is hard, and that play pretty indicative of it. Here's the key, though. At the end of the game, those type of plays got to be in the minority, and the majority have got to do some damage. They just get the playoff. And that is how the first quarter will end as that pass falls incomplete. That'll be the end of one in this AFC North battle. Both teams neck and neck so far. More from Akershire Stadium after the break.
So a punt coming up on fourth down, and it's against Belgium native Corliss Waitman with the honors. And it can't hurt you with the return if you just kick it out of bounds, right? So this one flies out right around the 15-yard line. We see the Ravens making their way out now. And it's far from the first time we're seeing this unit head out, Brock. But what we haven't seen so far in this opening half, well, we haven't seen much in terms of yardage. You know, it's like they've written a few lyrics, but nowhere close to a song yet. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Slot man in motion left. First down throw for Jackson. Short pass brought in. And it'll be brought down along the 25-yard line. They get an even 10 on that play. And that'll be first down, Baltimore. <laughs> that is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play and keep driving that defense backwards. They send a man in motion. Throwing now on first down, it's Jackson. On the slant, complete to Johnson. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. Give him an even 10 yards on the play. And that's good for a Ravens first down. I love throwing on first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for and you go out and execute. On first down, Jackson. Too much lead on that throw. That falls incomplete ahead of his target. He's counting his lucky stars. That one isn't headed the other way right now. That is not the time to challenge double coverage. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Flying down the middle of Henry. And they'll bottle this up after a four-yard game. Net and stopped by Alex Highsmith. They get about four there. Need a little more than that now on third and six. When you don't have great success on first down, kid, it's a little bit like a hitter in baseball falling behind in the count. And all you want to do as a hitter is get back to a fighting chance. Give yourself a better count. That play, well, does the same here. Now a much more manageable and opportune third down situation. They'll throw on third and long. This finds likely. And he's tackled after getting this to the opposing 46. That play gains 15, and it moves the sticks. I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. New set of downs for him from the 46. Play action, here's Jackson. And he gets this forward to the 19. They get 27 on the play. And that'll be first down, Baltimore. You know, Kate, you'll find teams go to this crossing route concept sometimes a dozen times a game. A lot of times it's for short yardage, but sometimes things break in the right coverage for a much bigger impact play, just like that. down a little short no actually they do give him the 10 yard line that is the epitome of staying on schedule that kind of completion right there on first down well it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down and the third and short in your back pocket and get even more aggressive and take that shot they send Aguilar in motion left And his short game gets them a new set of downs. It's first downs like that, Kate. Just with the toughness of these receivers, that I can't help but think about some old school dudes. These playbooks have evolved so much in the NFL. Can you imagine some of the physical receivers back in the day and how badly they would have loved to play in the systems like this to just find a way time and again to put the ball in their hands? Shotgun snap to Jackson. Catches made in close. Plays 
brought to a halt, so you're going to say, at the five-yard line. Well, that's a pretty similar result to a first-down run play. Moves it forward, keeps you on schedule, and makes second and third down a whole lot easier to manage. Second and goal coming up, five yards to the end zone. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Well, now, Kate, a major decision. And you could just feel the angst on the sideline. Do you really want to challenge a front that just held up on third and goal? And if so, well, you better be creative to get the job done. Staring at fourth down, the Ravens will go with Justin Tucker to try for three. Angling this one in for the right hash to challenge here. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that's going to break our tie and give them a three-point advantage. Okay, one of the areas that kickers and quarterbacks are similar, they want to get into rhythm. And no better way to feel good and get into that rhythm than start a game two for two as a kicker. First and ten now from the 30. Taking the handoff, now Wilson. Oh, put some heat on this deep. He's got it deep downfield. And he does quite a bit of damage before they finally take him down. You know, Kim, you have to talk about flipping the field in special teams, right? A, a kick return, a good punt. Well, an explosive play like that does the exact same thing. Look at the difference in field position. By hitting on that shot, you've totally flipped the field and the tone of this drive. Now they'll hit the line just outside the red zone following that big play. First and ten give to Harris. He's able to get this down at the 13. It's a pickup of 11. And it'll bring up a Pittsburgh first down. That's pretty good right there now. You don't always expect a sizable game when you run it on first down. You just want some yards to set up an easier second down play. But they will take that execution every time. First down from the red zone. It's a double-digit game, 10 yards, and now they've got first and goal. Kid, I can't tell you how good that is. Well, John Harbaugh has challenged plenty of calls in his career, and he's got the red flag out once again. Well, we're going to see how much of a sideline maven he is, Brock. This one very close, whether he got the feet down or not. And I'm so impressed by all these mavens, because you've got to make that <laughs> transition from college... We're one foot, you're good. Yep. yep. But not at this level. You've got to be a ballerina. You've got to get those toes both in, and the replay booth will be the judge of it. So the challenge ends up successful. He, in fact, did not get both feet in. This is incomplete. Second and ten. Need to get some positive yardage here. Wilson now from the gun. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Well-timed strike by that defender to knock it free. So they're left facing third and long. 
See the pass, time up your hit, and jar that ball loose. Not a lot of players are hanging on through a well-placed hit like that one. Throwing on third, Wilson. And that's a win for the pass rush. Hit as he threw it, leads to the incompletion. Fourth down coming up. You need to buy your receivers enough time to get open along the route and your quarterback enough time to find and hit them with the throw. When the line doesn't hold up, incompletions follow. Facing fourth down, the Steelers opting for the field goal. Chris Boswell out to do the honors. Already has one in this game, this from 30. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And we're all tied up now in the first half. Inspiring a bunch of confidence in himself right there, Kate. Second time they brought him out for a field goal, and second time but he's knocked it right through. Trust is earned in a number of different ways on the field. That's the best way to gain it as a kicker. Now Boswell on to send this away. Hill now to return it. Coverage team gets him down to the 26-yard line. The Ravens trotting out their offense. They managed three on their last drive, but down inside the red zone, disappointing not to come away with a touchdown. to contain him after about a six-yard pickup. Patrick Queen ranging in for the tackle. A good pickup of six there, but still 13 to go on third down. A humble five to six-yard gain on the ground. Not a huge gain, not a game-changing play by any means. But one that keeps you on schedule and takes some of the start on that front seven. Here he is on third and long. He's on the move. Pushing this up to the 29. He made something out of that play for them. Everyone's so concerned with defending the pass, they didn't quite keep tabs on what he was doing as a QB. They gave him just enough room to run. Here's Jordan Stouts coming on again to punt. Calvin Austin on the return for the Steelers. First punt win 45 yards. This looks considerably further. Fair catch the signal, and he brings it in at the 23. So no return on that punt. And the Steelers will take over possession. The Steelers back out on offense. They're running back, headed out once again. They'll get this drive started. First and 10. Shotgun snap for Wilson. Cut by Firemuth. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. He finds him 16 yards and a new set of downs. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains. There wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. Only 
only took him one play, partner, and they've already made it to that 40-yard line. Running behind center with Harris. And that's good for a gain of five. Top of that play, Trenton Simpson. Give him five on that carry, bringing up second and five. You gain that kind of yardage in the run game, and you're going to gain the trust of your offensive coordinator. Plays like that, runs like that, set the table for everything else in the playbook. Staying on the grab with Harris. Breaks the tackle, still going. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Looky here, you don't even have to worry now about a third down call as that run moves the sticks. Now that call you had ready, though, Recycle it. Save it for later for that next third down coming. It's the two-minute warning now from Akrasher. The Steelers working here. They'll come up first and ten. From the gun, it's Wilson. It's caught. That's Calvin Austin. And they're going to bring him down at the 36. It's a 13-yard play, and that's enough for the first. Sure seems like he knew exactly what he wanted, and he got it going right where he wanted to with the ball off the snap. First down, ball at the 36. Ross out of the pistol. It's Pickens on the slant. And he gets down to the 24 before he stopped. A nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down. Time and again, receivers will tell their quarterbacks, just give me a chance. Just give me a chance. Just throw it up and give me the opportunity. Well, in this case, with even two defenders trying to cover that wide receiver, couldn't get it done. Completed over the middle. And he's going to be taken down at the eight yard line. That one goes for 15, and now they're going to have first and goal. You know, it sure seems like he knew exactly where he was going with that before the snap. That's a pre-snap decision that led to a post-snap first down. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. Working inside the red zone. Escapes the pocket. And he evades any kind of trouble, but only a short gain to show for it after sliding down. Still chances to get these final four yards. It's second and goal. Russ now from the gun. And he's going to score. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. The Steelers take the lead just before halftime. George Pickens the touchdown. They were throwing for it there, and they didn't care who knew about it, Brock. And it turns out, hey, nothing was going to stop him either. Yeah, there's something about an empty formation. You are declaring to a defense, other than QB draw, this ball is going to be in the air. But at the same time, you also force the defense's hand. There's only so many coverages they can play, and they just exposed them. Chris Boswell for the point after. The point after splits the upright. And the Steelers break that tie and now lead by seven.
And we turn to the ground game and just run this clock out. And he's down after getting this up to the 41. Now the Ravens are going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. First and 10 from the 41. Lamar now from the gun. Gets this one to Andrews. And he made a bid for midfield there, but stopped on his own side at the 49. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Here's Jackson. Andrews with the catch. That's an 11-yard pickup, and it gives them the first down. I'm sure, Coach, a play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. We just laid it down to approach here from the 40. Pistol snap to Jackson. Complete Derrick Henry. He gets it ahead and winds up with about three. Minka Fitzpatrick in on the stop. Ravens call in on Justin Tucker for the field goal. From the left hash, 54 yards out. And this one had a brief chance, but not a good kick in the end. He misses it. So we arrive at halftime here in Pittsburgh. The Steelers leading after two. Now it's down to Florida where Jonathan Coachman is standing by in Orlando for the EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Kate, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, thank you, Coach. And we are back and about set to begin the second half. And George Pickens set for this next possession. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. first down I think that keeps you ahead of schedule but you're gonna have to pick up the pace eight yards to go well, let's see how they approach this second down Russ is gonna cook here Pointing the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. Football on that 47 yard line, first down. Warren quick on the draw. And he's charged towards the line, it's right around three yards. Hey, not a bad play by any means, but there's room for more, and they know it. Second down now, seven to go. Hey, 
Throwing is Wilson. This ball's cut by Pickens. And he takes it up and across midfield into Ravens territory. And the Ravens going nickel, third down. Russ setting the throw. And he just gets rid of this one, but unfortunately, that means fourth down coming up. So often, so many of these games in the NFL, well, they come down to a play or two and third downs critical. Whether it's in a close game or already out of hand, their coach wants to see them convert those. The Steelers set to punt it. And this is the second time he's been brought on to kick it. And no chance at a return. He wisely angled it for the sideline and got it down to the 12 before going out. Now Baltimore returning its offense to the field of play. And this game might be going better if he could have some more time just to work back there. This pass rush has been all over them. Really keeps taking this offense out of any grooves that they've managed to get into. You know, Kay, I like to say in life there's energy givers and there's energy vampires. Yeah. And for this defense, these sacks right here, they're such energy givers. And, man, it's like a vampire sucking the juice out of an offense. Yeah, I love that. They're out and set. First and ten. Third quarter starts with a run from Henry. And he found some running room for a nice game. Just a little short, but still a nine-yard pickup. That's going to bring up second and one. Well, that doesn't net a first down. You get yards like that in the run game, you will take it in the NFL. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. They bring their tight end left. From the 21. The screen pass falls incomplete. Yeah, I know nobody's perfect. All you have to do is listen to me and how many words I screw up. <laughs> but you certainly expect those throws of that length to be 100%. They've got to be borderline automatic in this offense. So that's that prior incompletion. We've got third down. They send Aguilar in motion left. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. Biggest difference in the college NFL game, we know this, Kate, it's matchups. Right? That college game, so much more space with the wide hash marks. Not so much in the NFL. You've got to cultivate one-on-ones, cultivate matchups. Using the receiver as a runner, that was a matchup successful for this offense. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. Here's Henry on the option. And he found some running room for a nice game. Pickup of eight on the run, and that sets up second and two. So much to like about that run, Kate, particularly what he was able to get out of it. The defense, I think, feels a little fortunate they were able to track him down before an even bigger run and crossing that first down marker. From the gun, Jackson. Into the hands of Likely. And they're going to bring him down just on the other side of midfield. And that one goes for a gain of 11. And that's good for a Ravens first down. It sure seemed like he knew exactly where he was going with that right off the snap. First and 10 from a yard shy of midfield. Out of the gun, Henry. And he drives this across midfield and down into enemy territory. Give him a few yards on that run. It's second and seven. a bunch of different GMs, Kate, especially around draft time, and they all say the same thing. Linebackers are so hard to find. It's hard to transition from the college game that's in so much space to this game where you've got to play in the phone booth yet, have that explosiveness to chase a play on the outside down like that linebacker just did. The roll is to his right. Oh, he's going to run for it! And that's 
good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. You know, these are the type of plays that really get an offense going. This is a chance for QB to inspire the guys around him. Call his own number, carrying his teammates to a first down on that big run. That inflates an offense, and it can suck the wind out of that defense. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. From the gun, a run for Henry. He breaks a tackle. He gets forward, and that's about four yards. That's stop made by T.J. Watt. That is just a good, solid run right there. I know it's pretty basic commentary, but sometimes football can be basic. It keeps you on schedule. That kind of yards per carry, and you move the sticks. Second and six coming up here. Now Jackson off the play action. He's got Andrew. And he gets this down at the 13-yard line. The end result there, 15 yards and a first. You know I love those chunk completions. They're so critical. Those chunk plays, they lead statistically so often to scoring. And then when you get it to a tight end and play action, it's just a little icing on the cake. They'll send him over right. From the red zone now. That's taken in by Henry. And he's brought down after a short game. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. Second down now, seven to go. A give to Henry. And he falls for the defense for a touchdown. The Ravens start the second half with some needed points. Derrick Henry, the touchdown. So they punch it in for six, Brock, and now a conversion away from tying this game back up. This one just has the feel, doesn't it? The makings of a one-score game in the fourth quarter that could go either way. Justin Tucker to try the point after. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Ravens manage to tie this game, it's 13-all. Tucker on to handle the kickoff. He fields it from the eight. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The home teams and this running back headed back out for a new series. It's all squared up again following that touchdown, partner. So some added importance on this series. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. An alert play defensively there. He got a hand on it to tip it away, and that makes it second down. I think we're seeing why this defense likes him in coverage. He reacts so well to throws and is even more adept in breaking up those passes. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Throwing again is Russ. Stays upright. And the cover just too good there. Team will find the throw that he was confident in, so just throws it away. Third down coming up. That is a DB's best friend, pressure. That pressure earned that incompletion. They came in before he could find a target and hit him to alter that last second attempt to get rid of it. Third 
Throwing on third, Wilson. And even on third down, he sees no choice other than to get rid of it. Not the play they wanted. It's going to be fourth down. You know, it's a point of emphasis in practice each and every week, no matter where we go. How are we going to attack the coverage on third down? We chose the wrong play off that call sheet that time. So out now comes the punter. And he finally gets a hold of one here. This is hit far. And some textbook work covering that punt. It is stopped after almost nothing on the return. The Ravens and Derrick Henry making their way back out on offense. They'll try to emphasize what worked on their last drive, which ended Brock in a touchdown. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Shotgun snap to Jackson. He lobs it up, looking deep to the right side. And this is going to end up incomplete. Really able to get there on first down, but just couldn't make the connection. Well, that's a major missed opportunity for the offense and a sigh of relief for the defense. They've got to adjust a little bit, get some extra help on the back end of your defense to take those shots away. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. They bring a tight end in motion right. Second down, Jackson to pass. Taken in by Likely. Quarterbacks will look for their tight end short in just about any situation. They take away the deeper options, and there's their consistent source of positive yardage, the trusty tight end. Let's see what they draw up on these third and seven. Here's Lamar. Getting out to his left. He's running for it. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. As long as these are the results he's getting, they're going to be just fine with him calling his own number. He does such a good job of seeing the field and knowing when it's his time to take it himself. New set of downs for him at the 38. They kick the running back in motion. First down, here's Lamar. Henry on the catch. And he made a bid for midfield there, but stopped at his own side at the 49. It's a pickup of 11. And that'll be first down, Baltimore. They like to say it's about the Jimmys and the Joes. I think that's about the X's and the O's. That's a well-drawn-up completion that nets them a first down. On first and 10, it's Henry. Wow, just sensational speed from the back that time, Brock. He found a seam, got through it, and he was gone. You know, it's one thing, Kate, to have singles hitters, right? And, and you, you love those, and you appreciate guys right. that can get on base. But it's the home run hitters that are the difference makers. And what a big-time effort. Tucker on for the extra point. Extra point set right down the middle. And the Ravens break that tie and now lead by seven. Tucker on to handle the kickoff. Here's a return from the seven. This return makes it up to the 25. Pittsburgh getting its offense all set to go. They find themselves trailing 20 to 13 after that score.
They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Carried by Harris here to start the drive. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. Back to the line they go. It's second down. Shotgun snap for Wilson. He's on the move. And down he goes. The Ravens' defense gets it done. And they'll try to build on that big stop. Yeah, let's give some credit to the defense here, Kate. Right? We talk about explosive plays. Every offense is looking for them. But when a defense can go back-to-back, -back Jack, with a tackle for loss and a sack, well, they're more than doing their job. Got to figure out this third down here. Wilson now from the gun. Don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. Football on that 47-yard line. First down. Warren here from the gun. And he'll cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field. A nice six-yard pickup. They're going to have second and four. I'm not kidding you, Kate. A run of that length at the NFL level, honestly, is the equivalent of a run of 15-plus at the high school level. It's hard in the run game to make yards, and they just got a very successful one. This is Harris on second down. He's contained at the line for no gain. The rangy Kyle Hamilton getting there for the stop. Now it looks like one of the Ravens is having some trouble out there and is in need of some assistance. Chance to move the chains here on third and four. From the gun, it's Wilson. He has the first over the middle. And they finally bring him down. But that is a big game and a new set of downs. They get 22 on that one. And that's a Steelers first down. Speaks to this guy's talent is just an all-around difference maker, playmaker. We see him line up as a receiver, and we don't even bat an eye, Kate. And we don't really bat an eye when he makes that kind of play either. This guy's just different, built for the moment. And they've got themselves another first and ten. Russ now from the gun. Nothing there left side as it ends up incomplete. Wanted to get that one to Mike Williams. So that brings up second down. That is normally a gimme for this offense, these short throws. But the defense, well, they had just enough influence on that play to force the incompletion. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Now an inside handoff to Harris. And he finds space for about a three-yard gain. Stopped by one of the league's best tacklers, Roquan Smith. We'll see what they come up with for third down in just a bit. We've reached the end of three. It's Steelers football. A nice help for them as they trail entering the quarter. Let's see what they draw up on a third and seven. Harris once more. He's able to get this down to the 13. A nine-yard gain and good for a first down. Most of the people watching will forget about that play in a couple minutes, but the coaches won't forget. He has that filed away the next time he really needs to pick up a few yards. They are now set for first and ten. 
working inside the red zone. He brings it in. And this is down all the way to the three. Year after year, the best offenses are multifaceted. It's not just the receivers or the tight ends that can make plays through the air. When you get running backs that can attack the middle of the field like that, man, is it difficult on a defense. Options are open here. It's second and inches. Here's Wilson. And he's going to score. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. The Steelers now trailed by just a point in the fourth. George Pickens the touchdown. His second scoring catch of the game. Slant route as it does so many times every game we call, Brock. Paying dividends made that touchdown look a lot easier than it was. An uncontested release that close to the end zone spells disaster for a defense every time, Kate. You got to have a whole lot more physicality at the point of attack because a QB is always going to be looking for that short little slant near the goal line. So a chance to tie it up again here in the fourth. The kick is good, so this game now hinging on every possession as we're tied up in the fourth. Now Boswell on to send this away. He'll now to return it. Find some space. He's past the 30. And this will give them decent field position. The return gets out to the 30. The Ravens returning their offense and this running back to the field. And I think we can agree the plan to keep him out of the end zone uh, it hasn't quite worked so well for this defense, at least not yet. He scored twice, really being the one his group can turn to for a spark or a big play when they've needed it. on a throw. Quarterback's best friend, security blanket. And once a big old tight end, that's an extra bonus. Second down now, seven to go. Trying down the middle of Henry. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. It's a pickup of nine yards. And that's good for a Ravens first down. I think with that call, they were trying to set him up with a short third down run, but he said, uh-oh. Nope, not on my watch. I'll just go get it all right here. Now, playbook's wide open for first and ten. Going to the ground again on first. And he's able to reach that midfield stripe after some solid running. It's a solid seven-yard pickup on first down. Now they're going to have second and three. That does not show up on any explosive stat sheet, but let me tell you, Kate, that's the real deal right there. You run for that kind of yardage consistently in the NFL, you do set yourself up for success. This is Henry on second. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. First down yardage. 
That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. From the 44-yard line now, first and 10. Lamar now from the gun. Flushed out of the pocket. He's stepping up and takes off with this one. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. They get 22 on that one. And that'll be first down, Baltimore. Yeah, I don't ever want to be a defensive coordinator. They do so many things right to take away the pass. And then what happens? Well, you get a quarterback that lowers his head, catches the defense with one of the biggest runs of the game. You take away the pass, but you can't stop the QB run. To the line we go. They're set first and ten. Excited there, that's gonna be a penalty. So he jumped too early, and that's gonna cost him five yards. So they'll only need five now after that neutral zone infraction penalty. Motion man left is Johnson. Lamar off the play fake. And he finds him in the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. The Ravens take a fourth quarter lead. Mark Andrews with the touchdown. When you reach the status that he has around the league, Brock, well, we all at this point expect him to be making plays like this when he's targeted down near the end zone. Yeah, I think the best thing I can say about this dude is he makes it look easy a lot of the time. And this game, trust me, is never easy. It speaks to how well he plays this position. Tucker on for the extra point. The point after splits the uprights. And the Ravens break that tie and now lead by seven. Patterson now to return it. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. The home teams, down Russell Wilson, headed back to the field now. And this is some quality film review right here. Look at this, couple of touchdowns, good amount of yards too. He's been moving them down the field like only he can, putting together quite the game for himself in the process. The drive will start out with a first and ten. Running behind center with Harris. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. This is one of those plays that I wish we had the huddle mic'd up, Kate, because I can assure you that offensive line in their own way is telling that running back, sorry, we did not give you any chance. Offense to the line for second down. Russ looking to throw. Caught by Firemuth. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. Nice to see that connection, that chemistry working between the two of them. We're set up at the 35 now. Russ off the play fake. 
Let's hook this one into row C, and some lucky fan is going to haul in a heck of a souvenir. There was almost no resistance offered against a rush that came off the line ready to maul anything in sight. It was all the QB could do to get rid of that before he gets absolutely clobbered. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. A run here with Harris. He takes this end to the 40-yard line before going down. They get about four there. Need a little more than that now on third and six. You make that call to just give yourself a fighting chance on third down, Kate. Take at least a little bite of the big meal between them and the first down marker. And that, that should make this upcoming call a little less daunting. Wilson out of the pistol. Completed here to pick in. And they get this down to the 44 before he stopped. It's a great pickup, 16 yards, and now they've got first down. Well, that is pretty darn impeccable timing between the two. They hit a curl route of that length. It takes great anticipation and precision by the quarterback and the receiver on the other end, finishing it, doing his job. From the 44-yard line now, first and 10. Throw it is Wilson. Couldn't bring it in over the middle, incomplete. Can't cover it much better than that really well-covered Kate on that play. There just simply was not a window for him to sneak that throw in. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. They'll run with Harris. And he doesn't get much. A small pickup down to the 42. Only two yards on the play, and it brings up third and eight. tell you this Kate that's that's we got to be on the same page with one another and get both ends of the play right to execute both the protection and ultimately completing that ball they certainly want that play call back they'll send out the punting unit and this will fly out of bounds to deny a return they're gonna mark it a little before the 20. this offense headed out as we get a look at their running back position of the quarterback, Kate. Sometimes you hand that ball, you put it in the belly of the running back, and you send him right into the teeth of a buzzsaw. You can feel it from the jump, and that call from the defense, that came at the perfect time. on the field and that quarterback's feet and eyes move to his secondary read and so often it's a tight end well it's incumbent on that defense to fly to the ball you want to make that tackle force the fourth down it took a great defensive effort to do it hunter takes the field on fourth down and he sends this one flying and the coverage team is there as he fields it so almost nothing on that return before he stopped 
The home team's headed back out on offense. Their quarterback returning to the field now. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Wilson to throw it. Pass taken in by Fryermu. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. Good offenses. Okay, good play callers know how to utilize their personnel. They know where they wanted him. They wanted him in a route in space where he could make that initial play comfortably and then go to work after him. They've got three timeouts and the two-minute warning left for them. We've got first and ten. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. That won't be caught outright. It's incomplete. Couldn't find Mike Williams on that throw. And that'll bring up second down. You know, when we were growing up in the backyard, we call them alligators. One alligator, two alligator, three alligator. He needed another alligator in order to get that ball off. Credit the defense for forcing the incompletion. To throw again on second and ten. Wilson. Fryer meet there and bring it in. And he takes it up and across midfield into Ravens territory. That brings us to the two-minute warning in Pittsburgh. Steelers losing by seven. Ravens bring an extra DB out there. Third down coming up. He'll throw it. It is cut left side. It's a 13-yard play, and that's enough for the first. I'm not sure how this defense let that guy slip through him like that. On third down, nonetheless, he took that snap as an opportunity. Man, did he make an impact play. First down, ball at the 36. Looking to throw it. Has a downfield working the way out. And they can't bring him down until he gets into that red zone at the 19. Still on the move, coming to the line for first and ten. Throwing now. Into the end zone, but someone's able to knock it away. That's incomplete. Well, that was all about the eyes. You've got to read the quarterback's eyes as a defender and make sure you know where that throw is going. And when it does, you got to react and knock it away. That is well done. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Here he is to throw. Escapes the pocket. And he's going to be stopped at the 17 yard line. That's just a case where you're trying to make something when there really is nothing there. There just wasn't an opening for him to work with, and he was lucky to get what he could. Drive in dire straits. It's third and nine. Now to throw. He's on the move. He'll make a big point on the ground. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. Pittsburgh will go ahead and use its second timeout. Still one more in their pocket to use. They can decide to play for the tire win later. First, they've got to reach that end zone. It's first and goal. Harris. Goes up and over for the touchdown. The Steelers cut it to a point late in this one. Najee Harris, the touchdown. So they get the all-important touchdown here late in the game, Brock. Now the question, play for the tie? or go for two and the lead. And I know they've got all these charts and numbers and analytics to tell you what to do, but this comes down to the gut and the trust of the head coach. Does he trust his offense more to go get this two-point conversion, or is he going to lean into his defense and believe that they can get the stop?
Now Boswell on to send this away. Wallace with a return here. And pretty solid field position starting out here, Brock. He's tackled at the 29. Baltimore running its offense out now. And even with some time left, Brock, a long ways to go to get into range for a game winner. They're going to need to move it in a hurry. Drive starts out with a first and ten. They've got a man in motion. To throw! Defensively there, he got a hand on it to tip it away, and that makes it second down. such a privilege for me to watch Marvin Harrison and Reggie Wayne in person in Indianapolis do their work. Daryl Jackson out in Seattle. They showed how great a deep out is as a chain moving play. It's all about getting that leverage at the top of the rack and then exploiting the leverage as that ball arrives on time downfield. Here's what I know. Uh, I know this one, Kate, from personal experience. After this one's over, QB, well, he's going to spend some time in that cold tub because he's been in so much time on the ground taking a beating today. This offensive line, this offense has got to find a way to protect the passer. That one is incomplete. And the clock stops with 18 seconds to go. Took his shot at six that time. And things look tougher now with third and long. How many times do defenders hear from their coaches, read and react, read and react? you got to read where the quarterback's eyes are going, and more importantly, you got to react as he begins to throw and knock that ball away. Bales out of the pocket quick. the jaws of defeat. They snatch this game away. And now we're off in overtime to decide it. His return starts to the five. He stopped on the return to the 27. The Steeler offense set to get back on the field. And I think they'd be content doing everything the same as their prior drive and getting another touchdown here. Get this drive started. First and ten. They'll start with a give to Harris. And they'll make the stop up at the 46-yard line. That play goes for 19 and a new set of downs. I had the 
first down by a comfortable margin right there. Remember that play call. Put that one away. Could be a money play for them the next time they're in a similar spot. Great start to the drive. They're up in the neighborhood of midfield after just one play. First down. Here's Russ. Short pass caught by his tight end. And they're going to hold him down just shy of the 40. A nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down. When you see play action, do all you can to get your eyes to the tight end because that's their bread and butter. That play action gives him time off the line, helps chip a rusher, or even helps sell that fake. And then when he releases, he gets out, he gets some leverage, he gets to that edge before the defender can cover him. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Give him around six, that's going to make it second and four. Fans love the long ball in baseball. That's like they got the home run derby. But you know what? Talk to managers, and they will tell you small ball can win, too. Singles and doubles, you add them up, you can win a lot of baseball games. Football coaches will tell you, you get runs of that length, it may not be a home run. It may not score points, but it can do some serious damage. Second and four. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop it. And that pushes them back. Third down coming up. No one picks him up, and he reminded everyone in the building why that's a major mistake. The linebacker's athleticism on full display. A sack in under two seconds? That's a select group of players on the planet who could pull that off. This drive in jeopardy. Here's a third and ten. From the gun, it's Wilson. as he heads out of bounds. How many times, Kate, do we see those routes, those horizontal east-to-west routes, just get that first down on these critical third-down situations? It takes tremendous eyes, tremendous speed, and a tremendous want-to by the defense to stop that short. It's good. The kick sails through. And the pressure now applied to that opposing sideline. That felt like the game right there, Kate. What a risk they took. He misses, and all the other side needs is a big play, and they're in field goal range. But he doesn't miss. He steps up, and he drives it through, and now they are a stop away from the win. We'll see if their defense can hold now and finish off an overtime win as the kick is away. He'll now to return it. He stopped on the return of the 27. Now the Ravens all set for another possession. Their defense held at least a little, Brock, but the pressure is still on. They need a field goal to keep this game going or a touchdown to end it. And I can promise you right now, I detect a test in that huddle. Every single one of those guys have asked says, I want a touchdown. I'm not even thinking of a field goal. That should be your mindset to go finish this game right now. The drive will start out with a first and ten. Henry gets it here to start the drive. It's a great extra effort to keep that run going for a nice game. Good run gets him seven. That brings up second and three. Hey, look, Kate, you can't just ask one tackler to go mano a mano and stop this guy. You've got to have the cavalry coming. One guy makes a hit, the others are there to clean up and pile on because one on one, he's going to run right through you. play fake. Taken in by Likely. And he's brought down for a loss. Hey, I know it's tough to evaluate when you're playing at game speed when there's chaos all around you. But if he looked around, I'm not sure that's a throw he would make again. Even one of the biggest targets, big old tight end, couldn't fight back to the line of scrimmage. Third and four coming up now. Looking to throw, Jackson. They'll get this to Henry. And this one does not go far. Those kind of completions are so frustrating, Kate. <laughs> it's like a puck. You got it on line. You feel good about it. It's going in the hole. But you never want to leave it short. Biggest play of OT. Offense set now on fourth down. Running for it. Here's 
Kick's Henry. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. He easily had the yardage for a first, but he was hungry for a lot more. I think that tackle prevented something that was going to be a lot bigger than just a first down pickup. Now head out first and ten for the 42. Okay, this one you got to be careful to just run it always on first down. you got to break your tendencies. The casual fan, well, the casual fan knew what was coming, but more importantly, this defensive front did too. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Here's Jackson to throw. You chop up to the pressure earning that incompletion. They came in before he could find a target, hit him, altered that last second attempt to get rid of it. No connection on the last play, and that's third down. They go play fake with Jackson. Flushed out of the pocket. No matter what other stats you want to look at in this ball game, well, this defense can take some serious pride in at least one thing, and that is six quarterback sacks on the afternoon. Six sacks, well, that's an expectation rarely achieved. And a sign, well, this group did their homework, and they're making it pay on the field. coverage and trick those QB's eyes into seeing something that wasn't there. What better spot to break that out than right now in overtime? Right here, right now, like Van Halen used to say. <laughs> 